Hi, everyone. My name is Father Joshua Wagner, a Roman Catholic priest from the Diocese of Columbus, Ohio. I'm a featured speaker here at CatholicSpeakers.com, and I am joined today by another fantastic speaker, a featured speaker here at Catholic Speakers, Marge Fenelon. Hi, Marge. How are you doing? Father, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. It's great to have you here. It's great to meet you for the first time. And so I'm just meeting you for the first time, as are a lot of people. So tell the people that are watching, you know, who you are and what you talk about and what the audience will experience and get out of uh, listening to one of your talks if they bring you into their church, their school, or their organization. Oh, I'd love to. I'm a Catholic wife and mother. I'm a speaker, obviously, because I'm on catholicspeakers.com. Com. I also am an award-winning author and journalist, and I do some blogging on the side. What what do I what do I speak about? Oh goodness, I, many different things. But primarily, I would say Marian devotion and Catholic spirituality. And, and my specialty is what I call everyday spirituality. In other words, God has given me a gift to take complicated concepts, complicated aspects of our church teaching and be able to to put them in such terms that people can really understand them. So I'm told I'm a very warm and relatable speaker. I strive very hard to do that, to touch hearts and allow people to, to touch my heart in return as I speak. And and in the end, what what I believe people are going away with, this is what I'm hearing, is that they'll, they'll come back to me and they'll say, wow, Marge, I had no idea it was like that. So some teaching, something that I mentioned, some doctrine, they'll say, man, I can't wait to get home and start doing what you suggested to us. That's what I hear a lot, Father. Yeah, that sounds really great. I mean, that, and I love that practical spirituality. It's, it's very much what I talk about as well. I mean, it's not so, as I like to say, it's not this nice thing we do on Sunday mornings and then you know, forget about the rest of the week. It's supposed to be woven into the very fabric of our lives. So tell me, uh, so tell me a little bit more about yourself for the for the folks that are watching and for my own benefit. Um, what inspires you? What gets you to put put your feet on the ground every day? What uh, motivates you to go out there and to tell people about uh, the the how much the Blessed Mother loves us and how much her son loves us? What 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 makes you put your feet on the ground every day? What makes me put my feet on the ground every day, first of all, is my family, of course. They keep me going. But but in terms of what I do, what Marge does, what put, makes me put my feet on the ground in the morning and really want to get off to a good run is our Blessed Mother. Because my goal, Father, is that every day, every single day, I strive to help one more person to love the Blessed Mother more. And through her, her son, and of course the church, because you can't separate them. You can't separate our Blessed Mother or her son from the church. That's what motivates me, and it keeps me going. One more person, one more person. Yeah, and of course, you know, to honor Mary, as you well know, and as our probably our viewers know, uh, is to honor her son, Jesus Christ. So that's absolutely, um, you, it's, it's of course through, to Jesus through Mary, as, as St. Louis de Montfort used to say. Um, so other than the Blessed Mother, because she's my favorite saint, and she's your favorite saint, and she's Jesus' favorite saint, because it's his mom, um, who is your favorite saint other than the Blessed Mother, and why? St. Margaret of Scotland. Obviously, there's a name connection, but but in I actually chose her. My parents hadn't chosen a patron saint for me, be, because I love all, I have a fetish, let's put it that way, for all things medieval. So she's a medieval saint, and I like very much that she was married, she was a mom, like myself, and by her very presence, she, what, what the biographers say, she had a presence that, that urged people to conversion. So her pagan husband, the pagans in her kingdom, she was a queen, and, and then service. So that, that presence and that service, and I try hard, I'm not very good at it, but I try very hard to model myself after her. I think she was just an amazing woman. Yeah, uh, actually, you're not uh, you're not the first person to tell me that they like Margaret of Scotland as I've been doing these interviews. So I think it's time that I get to know Margaret of Scotland. I think you've kind of inspired me to uh, pick something up about her and, and give her a read. I know that my bishop really likes her, so uh, that's probably why uh, that's probably why it's so fresh in my mind. So anyway, last question: How do we get you to our church or our school or our organization to be inspired by you to follow the Blessed Mother and her Son Jesus Christ? How do we get how do we get you to our organization? 
You can find me at catholicspeakers.com. There I have I have my letter of good standing. I've got some information about myself, but then I also have a list of sample presentations that some I have given and well, all of them I've given, but, but they can be tailored. So it gives you an idea of what kinds of things I might want to speak about. And then from there, you, you click on the, you know, book this speaker and, and they take it from there. It's, it's a very easy process. Yeah, they really do take care of both sides, both the people hiring and the speakers that the, are, they're bringing in. They, they're really a great class act organization. I've been working with them for a long, long time, and I'm a, I'm a big fan of uh, Catholic speakers. So anyway, Marge, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I, can't, uh, I can't tell you how great it is to meet somebody who loves the Blessed Mother as much as you do, because I love her too. I've chased her all around the world, and uh, I think she's just uh, the best. Of course, you know, if you get to know somebody's mom, you get to know them. I, it's a firm belief that I have. So if you want to get to know Jesus better, because because moms tell all the stories that the son is too uh, embarrassed to tell. That's that's why. If you really get to know the mom, you get to know the kid. So anyway, uh, thank you for joining me. And for all of you, uh, we have a lot of great uh, Catholic speakers here at CatholicSpeakers.com, including Marge and myself and many others. And so uh, you're at the one stop for finding a great Catholic speaker for your next event. All right, everybody, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless and have a great day.